It's an opportunity for you to retreat from your lives for just a few days and to remove the constant stimulation in your external environment that reminds you of who you think you are as a personality. To separate yourself from the people you know and the places you go and the things that you do at the exact same time every single day long enough for you to be reminded of what you already know. And I want you to know that every time you learn something new, you make new connections in your brain. That's what learning is. Learning is forging new synaptic connections. And the Nobel Prize laureate, Kandel, in the year 2000, found that when people learn just one bit of information, they doubled the number of connections in their brain from 1,300 connections to 2,600 connections. But if they didn't review that information, if they didn't repeat it, if they didn't think about it, those circuits pruned apart within hours or days. If knowledge is power, then knowledge about yourself is self-empowerment. And if you can take that information and apply it, personalize it, demonstrate it in some way, initiate that knowledge into action. If you get your behaviors to match your intentions, if you get your actions equal to your thoughts, if you get your mind and body working together, you are going to have a new experience. Now, when you're in the midst of an experience, all of your five senses plug you into the external environment. And as you're gathering all of this vital sensory data, all that information rushes back to your brain through five different sensory pathways. And it causes jungles of neurons to organize themselves into networks and patterns. The moment those neurons string into place, the brain makes a chemical. And that chemical is called a feeling or an emotion. And the moment you feel like a leader, the moment you feel like a patient parent, the moment you feel compassion, now you are teaching your body chemically to understand what your mind has intellectually understood. And in that moment, you are beginning to embody the truth of that philosophy. And if knowledge is for the mind, experience is for the body, you are embodying that information and signaling new genes and new ways, and you are rewriting your own biological program. But if you've done it once, it must mean you should be able to do it again. And if you can repeat an experience over and over again, over and over again, at will, on command, you are going to neurochemically condition your mind and body to work as one. And when the mind and body merge as one, or the body now knows how to do it, as well as the mind, now it's innate in you. It's automatic. It's second nature. It's easy. You've practiced it so many times that you don't even know how you do it. It's an automatic subconscious program. So our job on this journey is to go from philosopher to initiate to master, from knowledge to experience to wisdom, from mind to body to soul, from thinking to doing to being, to learning it in your head, practicing it with your hands, and knowing it by heart. And you and I have all the biological and neurological machinery to do this. And this is a time in history where it's not enough to know. This is a time in history to know how.